Campbell is holding a former overseer by the name of Martin. He's one of us, and if you manage to find him, give him whatever help you can. He's a master strategist, and he got caught working for our cause. It'd be good to have him back here at the Hound Pits. What a sight you are in that mask. There are few brave enough to laugh in the outsider's face. I have poor circulation, and I seem to have forgotten my mittens, so... I'd appreciate it if you could release me, or at least go gather some firewood. <sighs> Feels good to stand up straight. <sighs> Thank you, Corvo. May all the spirits guide you, and may our enemy's head hit the floor without you taking a scratch. Your work at the Golden Cat was something for the poets, Corvo. Both targets eliminated and Emily delivered to us without so much as a bump or a bruise. Quite a bloodbath at the Golden Cat. Well, at least it will strike some fear into those who oppose us. We are moving closer and closer to an empire free of the corrupt and depraved. Not much further now, Corvo. Blood's been flowing in the streets. The storm drains are running red. No point in holding back now, huh? The Admiral has been telling me about sea life. It sounds like a fine way to live. The stench from the river is reaching farther and farther into the city every day. More and more corpses. We took control of the Abbey through blackmail. But perhaps over time we can wield a more legitimate authority. The Abbey is corrupt. But as long as it stays that way, I can control it. Campbell's journal was a gift. Remember when this was just a dream shared by a few angry, desperate men in the back seat? Lord Trevor Pendleton, the neglected youngest son, bullied by your brothers. Martin, such a clever man. His talents wasted until he found his fate. This is all Martin's fault. Disappoint me, Martin! Why don't you come down and settle this man to man? The view is nice up here. I'm not moving. Don't try to act brave, you worthless piece of inbred shit. Come and get me if you're so strong. Stupid blue blood. Let's see how you like this. Martin, you couldn't hit me if I was standing next to you. <laughs> I know you hear someone speak. May all the spirits guide you, and may our enemy's head hit the floor without you taking a scratch. Ha! Excellent move, Corvo, ending that snake. Got you now! to add me to your list? To write my name across the ground in blood? I'm not gonna plead innocence. When we dug you out of Cold Ridge Prison, we had the best of intentions. We'd find Emily and strike against the Lord Regent. But once we started ordering deaths, blackmailing those in power, and all the other things you're not supposed to do, well, I guess it just became a habit. It's a hard thing holding the keys to the Empire in your hands. It weighs on a man's mind heavily. Curse Havelock and Pendleton as fools. Curse me as well. I can't stop you from going after Emily. But I'm not going to give you the privilege. I was born into nothing. And it's nothing I'll return to. Someone get over here! Do you ever feel that the ghosts of the past are following you? Sometimes I feel them. 